cultural diffusion and modern Korean culture. Introduction End of Joseon, Open Port Period The Colonial Period Post-1945 to the late 1980s 1990s to present Conclusion Introduction Welcome to this last installment of the lecture and today we're going to continue our examination of Korean culture but looking at the modern period. So we are going to continue to use this tool of cultural diffusion to understand how culture evolves and changes and adapts to the local context. How do you define culture? So just by way of review, in our examination of Korean culture, we're looking at the culture within Korea, um, but also looking at the influences that are coming into Korea from different regions and how Korea is also influencing other areas. So this inbound and outbound process that occurs and then when cultural influences arrive, how they change, how they adapt to the local context, how they take on uh, characteristics that make something that is different and something that is new. Especially during the modern period where there is increased uh, exchange and how people are even more connected, uh, the further we go into the modern period, that we see that there are even more opportunities for cultural diffusion. Um, but there are also very, uh, a very keen awareness of what it means to be Korean and how Korean culture, how it helps to define Korean identity and what it means um, to be Korean. So we're going to examine questions about how, how does one define your culture? These are the keywords for this class. Culture, cultural diffusion, modern, nationalism, 